happy sunday guys so i got up earlier this morning um thank you bear for that addition uh i got up early this morning because i was gonna meet a friend for the 9 30 service she ended up oversleeping but i got up early because i needed to finish all of the um shoot and finish editing the photos for today's blog post and stuff like that so i am back in like comfy clothes at home and I'm probably just gonna really chill out today, but I have been reading some things and just there are a few random bits I thought I would include and do mini reviews in because I thought they were worth noting. So I have been reading this guy over the last couple of days. I finished it earlier today and I really enjoyed it. I made the mistake of kind of reading a few of the reviews for it in Goodreads when I was like updating my progress. Um, I definitely think that I I see why people made the comments that they did. I get their perspective from it. It wasn't really how I felt or noticed until I kind of read those reviews. But I definitely think it's a good kind of get out of your own head and acknowledge some things going on in your life. And if nothing else, I took actually one of the books from it and kind of pulled another recommendation from that to read. So I really liked it. It was super motivational. I think... Um, this would definitely be even better from the perspective of like her audiobook. I don't know if she narrates it. That would be good to try. I've actually been listening to audiobooks again over the past couple of days. And I am currently listening to, let's see, where is it? I believe it's Big Magic. So um, if you haven't tried Audible, this video is not sponsored. But Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert is the current one and I'm almost done with it. Um... It's a great way to kind of get in reading if you struggle with that. I'm actually really particular about what I listen to as far as audiobooks go. I don't tend to go for fiction when it comes to audiobooks because I read quite quickly. Um, that's just a downfall of getting a degree in English and taking lots of novel courses. You learn how to skim and kind of read really fast. So when I'm listening to audiobooks, I don't tend to enjoy fiction versions because in the time it takes for them to tell it, I could have already been finished. But nonfiction books, autobiographies, things like that, I tend to really enjoy. I feel like I get a little more out of it with this, like with the actual speaking. And I think I have it at like, a little over like 1 1.25 over that speed so those are two of my book recommendations for the week big magic i've been listening to for a while um i when i was walking i was listening to it but for the past couple of days i've been listening to it in the kitchen or when i'm getting ready so that's been a good alternative to maybe youtube or other things that i would normally have as my background noise but the reason i pulled out my camera actually these guys right here so if you follow my instagram account you'll know that i have a bit of a sunglass addiction story of my life um i kind of wanted to do a mini review though because this like from most expensive to least expensive sunglasses are a thing i tend to be pretty good about not losing them but i also just like options so i like i'm not trying to show off I, these aren't a lot of sunglasses but i did kind of want to talk through it in case you were curious so I got my Privés in this week. They're like 30 bucks for Privés. The original Privés that I've been wearing are these guys and they're a plastic frame and they're the blue light lenses. So I have really enjoyed these. I definitely have seen a difference when I remember to wear them. Um, but I got these in the other day and I've pretty much exclusively worn Ray-Bans for the past several years until the past like maybe six to nine months. Um, for the most part, I was only ever wearing Ray-Bans. I actually think I bought my first pair maybe of Keys a year ago. So I like these guys. They're big. The metal still feels pretty strong. Um, still as strong as my Ray-Bans. The only difference here is obviously the price point. These are not polarized. These are one of my pairs of polarized lenses. Actually, the only pair of polarized lenses I own. And these are also, you know, they're like 60, 50 to 60 bucks. And these are definitely over 100 depending on the frame that you get. But I don't know about replacing the lenses with these. I do know that you can replace lenses in these in my Ray-Bans. Um, I have a pair of older ones I meant to replace, but this is all to say, so I got the Privé ones in this week. And my first thoughts when I picked them up were that they felt really cheap, um, which I mean, they are cheaper. And that's to say nothing's wrong with them. Like they haven't broken, but there's just 
such a weight difference between the two and I don't know if that's a lack of metal although it seems like they're still about the same amount of metal but they just feel really kind of flimsy so if that's a concern for you with glasses obviously I've only worn them one time I've gotten them I wore them today I like the way that they look I enjoy them um but if you're kind of toying between the two and you don't necessarily like thinner metals or you feel like it would just be not up your street, I would go with keys personally. Um, I went the Privé route because one, I love the shot of these glasses on the website and two, they're super affordable. So that's not to say anything wrong, but I just thought I would throw it out there. Somebody who regularly wears lots of different pairs of sunglasses now, this didn't used to be a thing for me, that these just feel... I don't know if it's because they feel so light that I feel like they feel cheap and not. I mean, I don't know if they're cheaply made. Obviously, they are more cheaply made because they're definitely only 30 bucks. Um, so we'll see how they wear. But that was kind of uh, something I wasn't sure about. So I definitely want to continue to wear them and kind of try them out um, and see how I feel about them. I like that because I put all the cases that kind of come with these guys behind it. They all have their little cleanser. Um, I'm really bad about using this one. I always use the case for my Raymans and I love that it's pretty like soft on the inside. This is pretty plasticky. The case is actually pretty nice for this and it folds completely flat. So I have, um, the cleaning rag and the certification in there, but you could get those to fold down really well. So that is my Sunday update talking about sunglasses. I know that I am a wellness and lifestyle channel, but I also kind of want to throw that in the mix. Um, I get lots of like tags on Instagram about people who are like, we want to work with you for sunglasses. And that's all fine and dandy. I'm just quite picky with the style of them. And I definitely don't want to tell you guys I like something that I don't. I've Every pair of keys or quays or however you want to say them um, that I've tried, I've loved. My previs that are, you know, my blue light glasses, I've really enjoyed those. I think my only concern right now is just how the new ones wear so i'll keep you posted on that but they're super affordable so there's at least that so yeah good morning on monday guys so it's about to blast you in the ears it is monday like i just said and i am on my way to try out a new gym it is my mission to find a new gym that i can go work out in um Mostly because I, like I've said before, I go through phases with the gym and sometimes I love the gym. Sometimes I'm just happy to work out at home. So it kind of depends, but I really would like to start lifting weights a little more again and a gym would be great for that. And because I work from home, sometimes I just want a bit of a break. So I finally found, I don't know what it was, but I could not find the keys for my wireless headphones this morning. It was a struggle. So that is on my agenda to do this morning. Well, actually it's this afternoon. I have been in a weird, I don't know, I, like I've said, it's been funk, but it's not funk. Um, I feel like this morning I really just kind of sat down and gotten myself in order as far as like what a weekly schedule looks like, how I need to break things down, just kind of feeling more like I have a game plan for things and less like things are all over the place. So I got up, I did my meditation this morning, I had my quiet time this morning, I went for a walk this morning, I started, I've written a blog post, I'm like starting the tunnel of things and I've set it out to kind of give myself a better idea of what my week to week looks like. So that is a Monday, this is Thursday, we're just gonna go with it. Mostly because it's kind of getting me out of my comfort zone. Like it partially bugs me that it's not the right day of the week, but it's also one of those things where like I need to actively remind myself that like it doesn't matter if anybody else cares. <laughs> so trying to hone in on that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run an errand and try out a new gym. I'm kind of hoping this one's the right one. I almost went ahead and signed up for like a little Planet Fitness um, membership this morning, but there are a couple of things that just kept making me pause, and so 
I decided that if enough things were gonna make me pause, that I don't need to do that. And then I was almost not gonna go. And of course, one of my fave girls who does YouTube and makes workout videos uploaded a new video for today. And that was like my reminder I really needed to go. And then I watched her video and now I feel pumped to go work out. So it is one o'clock. That is my like, hopefully, that is the time that I put in my calendar for myself is to go to the gym four days a week at this time because it breaks up my afternoon and keeps me from sitting all day long and yeah that is what we're gonna try so Monday not Thursday gonna pick some car music and we are gonna go get our workout I want to say the wrong day of the week. It's definitely Tuesday, not Wednesday. I am back in my coffee to cocktails of sweatshirt that I got last November and beer. Now it's not a nice time to bark at mommy. Okay. Um. So yeah, I look ultra nerdy, living my best life. I need to brush my hair. I've been in sweats today, just kind of getting things done. Um, but I did want to update you on my gym fun yesterday. So I like to work out somewhere that, hold on, bear go lay down. Go lay down for just a minute, go lay down. Um, I like to work out in a space where like if I want to lift weights, I can do that. But I also, it's really important for me to have a space that if I want to kind of go do my own thing that I can go do my own thing. So if you were like me and you are trying to find a space to work out in, maybe you work from home. Um, that's one of the biggest reasons that I've been looking into a gym membership because I think sometimes just being able to walk away from the space for even an hour or so can help me really come back refreshed and doing what I need to do. Um, and it just helps me have a little bit more of that home divide so I don't start to feel antsy in my space, personally. Um, but I think that if you can maximize on free trials, those are really great. Try to do a few different workouts and see how you feel. It took me a while to realize that that was like a thing that was super important to me in my like working out style. Um, and the gym that I originally had a membership at was, that was a problem for me, is not having a space that I could just kind of do my own thing. So I really enjoyed where I worked out yesterday. Uh, it's a little bit farther than I think is like ideal, but I also feel like having the pockets of time to and from, there will be a good time for me to get other work done that I might not necessarily be able to do if I'm just at home or wouldn't necessarily make time to do. I feel like there are certain books that I wanna read, certain things that I kinda of wanna give myself time to take in and having that like designated time to and from is really gonna be helpful there. So my goal is to kinda of set that in my schedule. I'm actually gonna do a video for you guys on like how I'm staying motivated with fitness. Um, but yeah, I was gonna go again today, but I just have a long to-do list of things that I want to get knocked out and I really just wanted to kind of truck through it. Things were a little bit more all over the place this morning than I wanted them to be. So it's definitely been one of those days where like I've had my headphones on half the day and I've like turned the soundproof on and I've realized that like I'm not listening to anything. I'm just like in my little bubble, so. It's been a busy day in a good way. So yeah, I did want to update you guys on that. Um, I know that things have been quite boring because I've just been in like my little work zone bubble lately. So it's all fun and exciting there, but I do have some fun things coming up for you guys and things that I've been trying, um, testing and seeing how they work in my own life. And there are some things that I've really been enjoying. So that will be kind of coming up. I have a video that we'll be filming over the next couple weeks and then I'm traveling next week and so that's part of why things are a little crazier right now because I'll be gone two weeks in a row and I have a wedding in September and then I'll be in Atlanta at the beginning of October. So yeah, um, starting to think about Christmas stuff which is crazy. I can't believe that. <laughs> I lit my pumpkin candle yesterday and I'm very excited to have that back in my life. But yeah, it is a very chill week, so this week is very 
very calm for you guys. Lots of me at home, lots of me talking to Bear, who is notorious for barking anytime I pick up the phone. Um, and yeah, like I said, here we are. So my skin looks hella crazy right now. That's really not how I want life to be for myself, but you know, here we are with crazy face going on. Um, it was getting better, now it's going a little crazy again. So I don't know. We'll see how that rolls. I have a facial on Friday and obviously I'm just kind of riding the waves of it until I finish my hormone test. If you're following Instagram stories, you have seen that I did the first part of that. Um, cause you have to have like start, there's two parts of the cycle where you do the test and I was already past the second part. So I'm having to like wait longer. Um, one part you do during your period window. If your cycle's regular, if it's not regular, then it's different for you. There's a couple of different things. Um, but mine's semi-regular, so we're getting closer to like normal numbers um, because I track it with the MyFlow app. But yeah, I am hoping to have full on answers and just kind of tweaking and getting things on track there. I've really been able to see a difference in stuff lately based on certain diet changes that I will be talking about soon. Um, I've been able to see where things flare up a little bit more and trying to be more mindful of that. So that's a lot to talk you through soon. But yeah, I'm excited to get back into the gym and weightlifting more. And Bear has brought me a bone. Hi. Um, yeah, why don't you go chew on your bone? Go chew on it. Mommy does not want to play with it. So yeah, that is my update for you guys in a long winded update. Um, yeah, learning lots of things, doing lots of things. It is a very kind of in a zone week and it is somewhat stressful, but somewhat not. I do not understand coding. That is not my like jam. So that I need to learn. I really wish that they, I hope that they teach that in schools now. I feel like kids need to learn that, but I don't know if they do. And also it may not look like my nails aren't all painted, but they're like accented down here. So I guess though, since the top three are really dark, the last two just kind of look bare. They're not, this nail combo didn't quite turn out like I wanted it to. I'm so we'll rethink that next time. But yeah, that is all I have to babble on about with you guys today to tell you that I like the gym. I think I'm going to sign up for a membership there. Um, it's a little bit more than I wanted to pay per month, but I think that it'll kind of fit the needs that I have right now. So, um, yeah. That is my new fun update. I have been doing lots of YouTube videos for workouts, so I'll leave the ones that I'm loving in the description box for you guys if you wanna check those out. And if you have any recommendations on workouts you'd like to do as well, leave those down below for me. I will see you guys probably tomorrow.